Now, earlier on, when we were testing um, on car, we were testing the amperage output um, of the alternator. We used this device here. Now, this is a clamp on ammeter, and it does lots of other things as well, but it will actually uh, allow us to um, put a wire or wrap it around a wire, that's how it works. So you put a wire through, through the jaws, make sure the jaws are closed, and it can sense how, much amp, uh, how many amps are flowing down that wire by the magnetic field that's being given off, the strength of that magnetic field. Now, the more amps flowing down the wire, the stronger the magnetic field. Uh, that field is, is, is sensed by this hoop here, uh, and inside the, the, the tool it will um, interpret that signal into a reading for us on the screen. Um, these are extremely useful because they're really quick to use. You just hook them around a wire. There's no, they don't uh, actually get put into circuit. Um, they just sense from the outside. So we don't have to disconnect anything, um, which is really good on modern cars. We don't really want to be uh, disconnecting components while the engine's running. It can cause all sorts of fault codes and things, which then we've got to try and sort out later on. So one of these is really useful for testing your charging system and also extremely useful for testing your starter circuit, your starter motor circuit as well, because we're dealing with very high amps again with that, even higher than with the alternator actually. Okay, so to use this tool, we need, and I'm doing this because it wasn't that clear on the car, you need to turn the dial from the off position and we're gonna use 600 amps DC. And the alter most alternators nowadays, or all alternators nowadays produce on cars at least, produce a DC output. They have an internal bridge rectifier that converts AC current to DC. So what comes out of the alternator on that big thick wire, single wire, uh, is fine for, the, for to be used in the loom, it's fine to charge the battery, it's the correct um, voltage, voltage type. Um, on some motorcycles and some old cars, the old alternators had an external regulator rectifier unit. Uh, which meant we had three wires usually coming out of the alternator and each of those wires was really just an extension of those three outputs from the stator uh, and they're carrying 90 to 100 volts AC um, and that's still the case on, on motorcycles these days. Anyway, so all we need to do is turn that to 600, there you go, 600 amps DC and then if we put it around the wire, let's use the earth wire, there we go, look, and I energize, we can see how many amps uh, are going to be consumed by this electromagnet. And I've got, I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we've got 7.2 amps of draw uh, by that um, winding that's inside the rotor. The electromagnet is consuming 7 amps of current. So there you go how to test that as well. But it's also really a demonstration of how to use one of these tools and what's really going on so you can understand um, you know, for diagnostic reasons. Cheers.